Welcome to Loot from 111 SR Rooms. In this video, I will be sharing my experience of running the room 100 times and the data I collected while doing it so that you may hopefully get an idea of what to expect from this room or if it's even worth it at all. Without further ado, let's get into it. Object 11 SR is the locked safe room extract on Interchange. Not only can it be profitable, but it offers the fastest extraction from Interchange if it's available. At the start of each raid, the door is closed and locked. Once power is turned on, safe from exfil will be green, but the door will still be locked. The only way to unlock the door is to swipe the Object 11 SR keycard at the hidden location. To swipe the card, head up to Burger Hut on the second floor. If you get lost, feel free to pull up a readily available map of the mall online. Head into the right side bathroom and press F on the urinal all the way to the back. The urinal will then slide upwards, revealing a keypad. Interact with this keypad and swipe your card. The door is now open, and it will remain open until the extraction button is pressed inside. Be aware that if someone is running past the door and sees it open, they may steal the loot or use the extract for themselves. I ended up wasting 25 swipes during my runs due to the room being stolen, looted, or dying before I could get there. Once you've made it back to the room, get all that loot and press the button next to the door for a fast and easy extract. There are three main areas and three crates you should check in the room. The first area is the couch. On the couch can spawn rare items such as skulls, gold chains, or even bitcoins. The second area is the table directly across from the couch. There will only be gun parts and magazines on that table. Make sure to check the floor for items as well. The third floor loot area is the metal shelf next to the large green container. Here is where you will find food items such as aquamarines and moonshine. Finding moonshine here is pretty common and can spawn up to four in one room. The three crates are standard, loot them if you like. When you flip the power switch inside the 11SR safe room, this opens up object 14, which I will do a video on in the future. One thing to note is that when power is on, the safe room exfil will be highlighted green. Swiping the card and opening the room does not change this. However, once the extract has been used, it will turn red. Now that we are all on the same page about what object 11SR is and how to use it, let's get into the numbers. The first set of numbers we will talk about is the key card itself. It comes with a hefty price tag, although the price will typically drop as the wipe progresses. Most of the cards I purchased for this video were in the range of 2.2 million rubles to 1.5 million rubles, though it has dropped all the way down to 900,000 rubles as I make this video right now. The key has 15 uses, which means that each swipe costs a certain amount. At 900,000 rubles, each swipe costs roughly 60,000 rubles, whereas with the card at 2 million rubles, each swipe would cost roughly 130,000 rubles. As far as risk and reward goes, you are going to do well with this room as long as you don't waste too many swipes. The second set of numbers we will talk about are the actual values and profits I made from running Object 11 SR 100 times. As I did with the Loot from 100 Customs Markers video, all the data is laid out on a spreadsheet which is publicly available if you want to see all the individual data neatly organized and sorted. One feature that I implemented to help with the number crunching was the use of a Google Sheet API from TarkovMarket.com to auto price check the items that I entered into the spreadsheet. With this script running in the background, my spreadsheets will auto update with the real time prices as long as Tarkov Market stays online. That way, if you are watching this video three months from now and the economy has changed drastically, you can still go see how much you will make from this room. One caveat is that Battlestate games may change the actual items in the rooms which will decrease the accuracy of my findings. Tarkov Market has many features besides the API, such as a Discord price check bot, so go check them out. Let's start with the average total per room and the median total per room. This is including all of the loot in the room, so containers and floor loot. The average total from each room was 212,427 rubles as of April 20th, 2021, and the median total per room was 131,327 rubles as of the same date. Keep in mind that the median total is a more accurate number since the average total can be skewed right by very lucky spawns. In slight contrast, the average total from only floor spawns in the room was 348,522 rubles. The average total from only crates was 76,332 rubles. I did include all the crates in the video, but wanted to make the distinction the floor loot was the brunt of the profit here. In total, the loot I found in 100 runs of Object 11 SR came out to be 42,485,379 rubles. The total profit minus the card swipes came out to be 36,501,032 rubles. The best room I had in total was worth 1,652,396 rubles, and the worst room I came across 
was worth 91,736 rubles. All in all, running Object 11 SR can be very profitable and makes for a quick getaway. Just be careful for people trying to steal your loot. If you guys liked the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. I will continue to make videos like this across different areas of Tarkov. All of the loot rooms are captured on my Twitch stream. I stream every single day, so if you go drop a follow on my Twitch channel linked below, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you all for all the support you've given me, and have a good night.